finally back after being uh, after like walking out of the Big Brother house. Um, and here we are on RTVZone.com doing the Dick at Night recap show. We're going to be doing it Sunday, Wednesday, and Thursdays after every episode uh, on the East Coast. And it will be posted after every episode on the West Coast. So don't have to worry or bitch and cry about fucking spoilers, you whiny bastards. <laughs> um, our guest tonight... We have uh, James Ryan. He was like really disappointed he wasn't first on the credits, so I'm giving him first credit here. <laughs> James Ryan from Big Brother 6 and All Stars. Uh, June Song from Big Brother 4 and should have been in All Stars. And uh, America's Sweetheart. Uh, Janelle from Big Brother 6 and All Stars, who also holds the record for most wins in a season and ties my daughters for most POVs in a season. I got so uh, I want everybody that's looking now, that's watching this right now, uh, thanks for coming, uh, I'm, so to speak. Zing! Um, <laughs> and uh, I'm glad that there's trivia on with the uh, endurance competition going on. That'll give everybody a chance to uh, hang out and watch us talk all kinds of shit about what's going on here. Um, check out the recaps that we have going on with the uh, MTV uh, Challenge Rivals. That actually just ended. They finished doing their show just a minute ago. We have the Bachelorette recap going on, and uh, the Gremlin Cave. Uh, we're gonna have. I'm gonna be doing a Survivor recap and all kinds of other bullshit. So keep checking out the site. Um, and thanks for coming to RTVZone.com. Let's get right into it. Let's start kind of in the beginning, you guys. Um, bring you back the vets. Love it or hate it, James. Um, I liked it at first. Um, like I said um, last time, I think that this is, they didn't have enough people from season eight and beyond to do a legitimate All-Stars. So this was their way of, you know, bringing back the ones that you love to hate and you love to love and a little bit of both with uh, you and your daughter. Uh, what do you think, you know? Um, I liked it at first as well, and now I hate it because the newbies are never going to win because they suck. They suck um, horribly. You know, they're the worst I think the casting picked the worst possible players that I don't even know if they've watched the show. So it's no. Let me tell you, I, I can vouch for this. These motherfuckers are like like super uber fans. I don't yeah. give a shit what they're saying. Dom was like, oh, I only watched a couple seasons in when I was in Sequester. He's a lion motherfucker because when I was talking to him, he was naming shit <laughs> off from like season five, season six. He know like little bits and pieces, and I knew he's full of shit. Um, Adam, yeah, Adam is out of his goddamn mind. This guy will quote stuff like that. It's so... Okay, he knew who Don Woman was. Who knows who Don Woman is that hasn't been on the show? He's like, oh, he's the voice and blah, 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 blah. This guy knows everything. He's like out of his mind. Shelly, the same thing. This is a season of Uber fans. Believe it or not. Uh, I know you won't believe it by the way they're playing. Yeah. June, what do you think? No, I loved it, but I was going to say I want new newbies. Yeah. <laughs> you want to just trade them in. Yeah, I'm fine with the vets. You know, all in all, I complain a lot, but I'm fine with the vets. I just want new newbies. Okay, my thing was, uh, let me tell you, when I left the show, I'm putting mute on my, uh, my, my uh, what the hell is it, trivia over here. I was expecting, like, uh, uh, the, the endurance competition going on. When I left the show, I, I talked to the producers when I was on my way out, leaving for a car, waiting for a car, and I said, I, I get Jeff and Jordan. I even get me and Danielle. I don't fucking get Rachel and Brendan. Can you please understand, like, explain this to me? You and their answer was, we, we wanted most loved, most hated, and most feared. Which, so, uh, which, is, which is which? Well, it's not, <laughs> I know it's not, you would think that Rachel would be most feared just from her voice, <laughs> but they were putting me and Danny in as most feared, oh, and uh, okay. Rachel and Brendan is most hated. Yeah. Oh, all right. Um, how do you think that... Uh, let's talk about people trying to either keep or change their reputation of their, like, their character on the show. Uh, you know, Rachel, her mother was begging her not to go back on because the world wow. thinks she's a fucking insane bitch. And, um, I mean, <laughs> I don't think that this has, like, done anything, but in my eyes, I hated her. I, I fucking hated this bitch last season, and I fucking hate her even more this season. And I hate yeah. Brendan even more this season. Um, and uh, Jeff, I, I don't know. I, he's getting a good edit, but I'm not digging Jeff. Not the all-American boy. I could really give a shit. And it's not just because of stuff going down with my daughter. What do you guys think? June, you're up first. No, 
know, I, I hated Rachel last season, and I hate her this season, but I hate her for different reasons. Last season, I just didn't like her, period. This season, I'm like, why are you still with this <laughs> douchebag? Like, you're bringing the woman's movement back, like, 70 years or so. What the fuck are you doing? But, yeah, you don't no, think that right. these two are, like, the total codependent? Her with her fake crying. I've never yes. seen a fucking tear leave her eye ducts. And like him Allison. going, honey, I love you. Uh, and this my fiance bullshit. Oh, I God. love you, babe. I love you, babe. I want to take a baseball bat and just like hit him in the back of the head when their heads are like six inches apart. So his face hits hers. Well, what Allison, do you think? Grodner, <laughs> Allison Grodner tweeted that everyone should take a shot every time Brendan says, rocket science and i'm like no it should be fiance then everyone will get <laughs> fucking drunk it's ridiculous um do we want to talk about uh brendan jacking off on skype i was calling it skype or baiting when i was in the house <laughs> when i was in the house I, I brought it up quite a number of times before the feeds went on uh where I, he would anything with like a penis that would come up i would say you know hand it over to brendan um he actually did have a very good uh sense of humor about it and I told him a sudden, like, dude, it was just like, you know, she made you her bitch with that apology <laughs> thing. It wasn't even so much jacking up on Skype. It was that crying apology that ended up oh on TMZ God. that just turned you into a walking, talking vagina. Oh, oh we have, why he has to stay with Rachel. You know what I mean? Those two are destined to be together. Whether oh, you love God. it or hate it, those Wait, two James, kind of... you, James, you scolded me when I was tweeting about it when it was going down. Why? Well, just because I felt bad well, for Brendan, you know what I mean? It's like, this is a, the guy will never be a teacher again like he was before, and it's one of those things where, you know how like, when people are in the house, like, we talk as much shit about everybody now, but sure. it's like, after the fact, you kind of, you're still all family, you know, unless they actually tried to hurt you. I mean, shit, Janelle and I, all, the only text we sent back and forth for about a year and a half were things talking about how much we hated each other, you know, and then I was at a wedding last year. Die, plastic whore. <laughs> I, mean, I wish I still had my own phone because I'd sell it on eBay for you, but um, oh, it's one of those things where once you're outside, it's like game over. So that's why I was like, oh, I feel bad for the guy. Oh, I think Kalia is out of the endurance competition. Imagine that. that. Now, is that uh, with the help of the EMTs or did she give up on her own? I, I don't know. It just came on right now. The feeds are on? Uh, she probably had to run to get a Twinkie. That's something. <laughs> They, oh, wait, they wait, 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 I might be wrong. Wait, uh, uh, she, they're showing her now. I thought they showed her by, standing by Rachel. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. The must have came out, came out and gave her a Twinkie. Um, <laughs> okay, let's, let's move on. Uh, the Golden Key. Love it or hate it, Janelle? Um, I love it. It was obviously designed for the veterans, which is cool because, you know, they were going to be targeted really bad in the beginning. But um, I started hating it because... It's just made the game so boring for the people that couldn't do anything. Like, it was boring for Portia, and I think it messed up Danny's game because she just was going into the house really wanting to play, and she was handicapped, basically. Well, it takes them out, and I think that what they tried to do was fix what they fucked up in Season 9 by having people that were, like, totally I'm cool sure. and down with everybody, and then having, well, look at uh, Parker went down with Jen, mm -hmm. uh... Uh, who the hell, Alex went down with, uh, who the fuck was he with? Amanda. Uh, Amanda. You know, and these people that, like, had shit going on, um, their retarded partners just dragged them to the bottom of the ocean and they were out. So, and, you know, I think you're right, too, because this guarantees that even if things went really, really wrong, that um, at least four of the vets would still be in the game and be on jury. But, Go, James. You, have to, you have to consider CBS, when they cast this, they knew that Adam was a, a fool, that Kalia is only going to win, I don't know, just, these people are going to win shit. So it's like, to me, I don't understand why you even have to have the golden key, because you can look at this cast, knowing them as detailed as casting knows, and, and know that they won't win anything unless the veterans, an earthquake happens and the veterans side are all killed. Yeah, but look at people like Cassie, look at people like um, Shelly, um, look at people, people like Portia. I mean, Portia was the last one on the banana, the big banana. Um... Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, then you have Dominic. Um, there was some potential in some of these people. They're and, gone. Um, you know, yeah, they're totally gone. When I was in the house, like, the, and I'm not taking, like, credit for fucking shit. I'm just saying, the way that the game plan was, was to get rid of Keith first. This guy was, like, insane. 
He would get on that elliptical with a plastic suit on in 105 degree heat for like 45 minutes. I, the guy's eyes are rolling back in his head. And I'm like, we don't need to evict this motherfucker. He's just going to get meta backed out. Fuck him. <laughs> and so like him, I'm like, this motherfucker has to go first. The next one that has to go is Dominic. And the third one that has to go is Cassie. Because they were so obvious about their, their regulators, their irregulators. Oh, we have two people gone. Adam's gone, I can see. Who's the other one? I'm not sure. They haven't shown the sign lights yet. I'm just giving play-by-play. Play. Adam's gone. Can, can we all believe that? Yes. <laughs> I was, I'm just glad he's not screaming anymore. That was the most obnoxious oh, thing dude, ever. I, I, by day two, I was ready to fucking punch him in the face. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. The stuff with the bacon wouldn't fucking oh. stop. It just didn't stop. He had, he had like, Big Brother, bacon, Tory Spelling, and what the fuck else was it? That he, it was like four subjects. That, like, that's all he would talk about. And I just <laughs> couldn't stand it. It was like the zap like, in my season where everybody would like get up and leave one by one when he would come around. Well, because that was a great Adam montage, a by the way. <laughs> Which Adam one, though? Adam is a super fan, and he knows that CBS is turning all gimmicky now with, with Big Brother, and so he, those were his gimmicks, Tori Spelling yeah. and 90210 and Bacon. Well, you see uh, a lot of the, uh, the older yeah, men now. To perform then. Oh, Bacon. You see a lot of older men going with those gimmicks. I mean, you had Mike Boogie had his whole shtick, which worked. You know, you have Howie with his same recycled shit every <laughs> oh, single day. Yeah. And then you have Jedi Howie. Then you have the boobies, 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 boobies. the same stuff. And then you yeah. have Casey trying that same stick, so it's like, it looks like... Oh, Casey's another passing. tool. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I yeah. like Casey. Oh, Casey's... I, I, I had an experience with him in, in Florida. I wanted to drown him. Adam and uh, Lawan are out. I just got an update. Adam Who? And Adam and Lawan. Oh, <laughs> imagine that. Of course. Dick, uh, you know that if you didn't leave the house, the regulators would all be out by now? But because yeah. of you, Lawan is still in there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ooh, like he's it. a big threat. <laughs> um, you know what was so funny was like getting like getting this thing going. You know, I think I've talked to Janelle and and James about this, but uh, you know, I don't talk long distance to June. Um, no. <clears throat> but you know, when I went in there, and you know, Jeff is just not the brightest guy. When we're standing there after the banana swinging fucking competition, the the first H O H. You know, he leans over to me and he's like, I don't know if it's a good idea that we align together, all of us. It's going to be such an easy target. And I look at him and I'm like, are you fucking kidding me, dude? I go, did you? I go, when when there was three, four of us left on the banana and, and uh, Portia was the last uh, the last of the newbies. Every single newbie over there was cheering her on. They never said, yay, Rachel, yay, Dick, yay, Danielle. I'm like, <laughs> are you kidding me? He looks at me and he's like, yeah, I didn't notice that. I'm like, dude, you got to fucking pay attention during HOHs and POVs, man. The guy's just like, you know, I, if you can't win with a fucking coup d'etat and Shima throwing her fucking shit into the pool and you um, lose against Kevin, Jordan, and, and uh, Natalie, I, I, I'm sorry. It, hello. But he he's knew. really cute. Well, that's because he knew that if you stayed in the house, you'd be the only other person besides him who'd be able to tell Jordan to shut up and she would. And so you, he, he was like, maybe this isn't a good idea. <laughs> Why didn't they show Jeff sh telling Jordan to shut up? I know. I was wondering because that too. During that whole thing, he turns around and he tells her, like, really nasty, shut up. And, of course, they don't show that. And why didn't they show his homophobic rant about uh, Dumbledore in uh, Harry Potter? <laughs> CBS is trying to, I mean, you know how it works, man. They yeah, they well, never you know. showed Amber's rants either. Right? Yeah, to well, be in fair, case, in case people either. missed it, Kalia brought up the fact that Dumbledore was um, written, in, written in the book as gay. And Harry Jeff, Potter, for those that aren't geeks. That yeah, Harry Potter. About. And um, Jeff was just like, how is that possible? You want gay? You want a gay in with little kids in this Around little fantasy kids. land? And I'm sitting there going, does Jeff like, not understand that a, 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 a homosexual is not a pedophile, that they're two different things? I mean, I think that he thinks that a homosexual and a pedophile are the same thing. Well, well, they like also think demasculatizing is a word. So I don't think Jeff is a, is a homophobe. <laughs> I just think, like you, you know, talked about earlier, he just, he might not be the brightest in that sense. I don't really think he's a homophobe. It just, he says dumb shit. And that was... I agree. Well, let me tell you, I would rather shit. have a gay Dumbledore teaching my kids than a Catholic priest, motherfuckers. 
<laughs> I tell you that right yeah, now. I don't think Jeff. I don't think Jeff's a homophobe either. I think Jordan gives him really good prostate massages, and I don't think he's <laughs> supposed to be okay with that. <laughs> with a really long dildo. Uh, looks like Kalia is like. Eating? I don't know what that looks like. She's falling asleep. <laughs> she's not eating yet. I would. I'd be like the Jeff Probst if I was out of the competition and have like a Twinkie on the side. If you come out right now, I got a Twinkie and a ho ho for you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Is bringing back Brencho uh, making everyone as ill as it's making me episode after episode? Yes, but it's the Sanjaya effect. The same reason American Idol kept him around because you're watching this train wreck go down and you're just like. Are you kidding me? What's gonna you know what's gonna happen next week? And that's oh exactly God. what it, the way it's. Come on, everybody has to remember Sanjaya. He was like the most him. horrible on American I Island. People him. kept him in, kept him in, kept him in like this crazy hair and shit. Yeah, but the only person worse than him was Spencer Pratt. In that, like, I'm a celebrity. Get me out of oh, here. Oh, I love that show. Oh, uh, Spencer Pratt is pants a total on the ground, ground. Pants on the ground. <laughs> Okay, let's go to, um, we have one more subject before we go over to uh, Andrew's Kosher Betrayal. Boy, that was a really clever name you made there, Andrew. Uh, we'll be there right in just after this question. Okay, Dom's speech. I liked it. Are you kidding, really? I mean, what else is he supposed to say? Hey, guys, I had a great summer. Thanks for fucking sending me out of here for whatever reason. No, I mean, just call people out, walk out, say hi to Julie, and take your ass. That's the shit that they did all last season. Know. Nobody would say a fucking word until they're like, they know that they're being voted out, and they're going, and there's a, a secret romance going on in here. <laughs> well, there's, there's a, a, there's well, a guy's alliance up. in here. He so shut the fuck up. Went out. He spoke up before he went out, but it was one of those things where once the veto hasn't been used, you got to try for bo votes. you got to play it both ways. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah what about him throwing the veto? That was, that was the I mean, he, like he said, And let's talk to Janelle about that, the, uh, <laughs> the uh, all-time record holder for the vetoes. Go, Janelle. Um, I think it's absolutely stupid of him to throw it. What a retard. I mean, seriously, that's your only Love lifeline on. in the house. You know, when I was in the house, one of the things that I set up was I, I explained to them. Everybody was so bummed out about the golden key. And, you know, this sucks and this and that. And I'm like, this is the best lever that they've ever put in the house. All we have to do, fuck who's getting evicted. We need to get the person that's going to give us their votes, that's going to throw any POV or anything else and give us everything uh, in order to get this key. And that's when we started working on these people and started working everybody against each other. Oh, it looks like Jeff's skis fell off, but his platform's still there. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yeah, because he's golden boy. They're holding him up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think he has a he has a belt like Peter Pan that's up in the back, you know, just keeping him up there. And it looks like Jordan's finally got a little workout. Uh, I'm not a Jordan fan. Who, who here is a Jordan fan? Who here isn't a Jordan fan? I think anybody that's really played the game and had to play hard can't be a Jordan fan. Brendan is June. down. Let's hear it, June. No, I agree. I mean, okay, okay. You know what? If you win, there's no, there's no such thing as an accidental win. Every win is deserved. But I think she is least deserving. But I would still do her. I think she's beautiful. <laughs> Janelle? Um, I think she's gorgeous, and I love watching her in the feeds. But, yeah, like, her win was kind of, like... Weird. Um, I, I mean, personally, I would have voted for Natalie, but that's just me. But James? I do like her as a person. Um, oh, she's really, she's really nice, and her looks aren't even like involved in any of this. We're talking about gameplay and, and her winning. Uh, James, this season, I think she's she's a little bit uh, better than she was last season. It's one of those things how she just kind of falls into things. You know what I mean? So yeah. she they gave her an HOH fine. She did figure out the David Hasselhoff in some weird. You know, where that's way. <laughs> One of those things where I don't like her or hate her, I just think that, I mean, if obviously if there wasn't the relationship between her and Brendan, I mean, her and uh, Jeff, <laughs> she wouldn't be on this show whatsoever. And Agreed. you would have forgotten about her as well. Oh, no, without a doubt. So, yeah. But Brendan is off the HOH comp. I think if but, she yeah. didn't win that season, because she's so cute and she's so sweet, that that season would have went down as one of the biggest shit seasons of all time if Natalie would have won it. Um, you said an accidental uh, win. Um, I say there is such thing as an accidental win. It's it's like yeah. uh, it's like a shark when you're like uh, you, you're trying to cut a fart and you accidentally shit your pants. That's what uh, happened with Jordan. Jordan didn't even play. She didn't even know where the fuck she was. 
she was like, she woke up and was like, oh my God, I'm in the Big Brother house. Oh, I gained 30 pounds eating cookie dough. I'm in the final three. And look at who I'm in the final three with. Kevin and Natalie. Uh, give me a fucking break. All the players, all the real players that season took each other out early, and that's what was left. Um, they handed the ball to Jeff with the coup d'etat, the, you know, this magical power that was never, ever given away to anyone beforehand, even up to All-Stars. It was a competition that you had to win in order to win this type of power. Like, June, when you went to the MTV Movie Awards, yeah. you know, you had... Yeah, you had to win it. It wasn't just like, Word. oh, let's let's look on the polls. Oh, my God, Jeff is like head and shoulders above everybody else combined. Let's ask them who they want to give the coup they talk to. Oh, it's Jeff. What a surprise. And they give him the ball. He fumbles on the one-yard line. And somebody pushed Jordan, uh, pu pushed Jordan down. She rolled on the ball into the end zone. That's what happened. Anyhow. But did you guys see... You know what? Last night, though, they were talking, and Danny and Lawan and uh, Kalia were saying that that they will not vote for her to win. They were like, anyone can win against her. <laughs> we won't vote for her. That's what they said last night. I wouldn't want to be part of any season that she won. I would want to go hang myself afterwards. Um, let's go to... Nice face, June. You smell a fart? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm thinking about that one. <laughs> <laughs> let's go to Andrew. Kosher Bet Trail. Hey guys, it's Coach Betrayal with Andrew and my sidekick, Bookie. Of course, don't be offended by it. Uh, Brendan. So anyway, uh, you're right seeing the eviction, the live eviction. I'm assuming based on Dominique leaving, these are going to be the odds with Coach Betrayal with Andrew. Uh, we're going to do this every week. Thank you, Evil Dick, for allowing me to be on your show. It's an honor. Uh, this is hot off the presses. Assuming that Dominique is the one that left. Of course, this is changing everything. If Dominique doesn't leave and he ends up staying for some reason, which I think 5% is possibility, but I'm assuming he leaves. Uh, so the odds are changing, and obviously it all depends who wins, wins HOH. By the time maybe you know who wins HOH, I can change my odds, but I'm basing it on a veteran based on right now winning HOH, and we'll see what happens from that. So here we go with the odds. Fresh off the presses is Luan at 25 to 1. I think he's the worst one to win the odds. This is all for pretend. Again, don't be offended if I say something. It's all a game. So, Luan at 25 to 1. I think he's got the worst. He's got a great game. His personality, but he ain't winning the game because he doesn't win anything, and nobody will ever give this guy a winning chance if he doesn't win anything. Uh, Adam at 20 to 1. Look, he's happy to be there. He doesn't care. Uh, he wants to just stay as late as possible. I think he wants to make the jury. Uh, they're not going to give it to him, whoever he's up against. Portia. She also is starting to start playing a game, I think. She's going to hang on the coattails of the veterans. I don't think she can win anything. Therefore, I don't think she can make it far enough. And she doesn't have anybody really backing her up. I think the veterans are backing Shelly up more than Portia. But Portia's just going to be there for Rachel, and Rachel's going to bring her along. The next one, Kalia, is the fourth worst. I think she's getting on people's nerves. I think even both sides want to get her out. So I can believe that at 18 to 1. Porsche and Kelly will fight it out who's the fourth horse. The biggest mover of the week from my previous, if you look on other shows, I had Danny. I love Danny. As a friend, I would love for her to win. Please, Danny, come back. Something, do something right. However, this dude is as an off-the-record, non-biased, objective person. Danny, you, hit, you shot yourself in the foot, no pun intended. Uh, so you're at 15 to 1 odds. I really believe you have no shot unless, of course, you win. Obviously, there's always a shot. Uh, this game changes from week to week. Basically, I thought she had it in, but she started playing a too strong way too early. She shouldn't have done anything. So she's at 15 to 1. If a veteran goes up this week, there's no question about it. They're throwing her out. They're putting her up. And if she wins the veto, it's the only way to save herself. However, they'll be going after her unless she can reconcile Please reconcile. Somehow they'll trust her. If Danny wins, then Danny doesn't put them up. Maybe they'll believe her and bring her back. Uh, that's the only way she can get back in this game. Okay, after that, I think Jeff is the other one at 12 to 1. I think here's the reason why these next guys, Jeff and Brendan at 12 to 1, are the first two guys from the veterans who are going to be up on the block always. Both sides, are gonna, uh, the, uh, the newbies are going to put her up, and Danny's going to put her up, put them up. Uh, which of those goes out, I don't know. It all depends on what the, the competition that week. So Jeff and Brandon are both at 12 to 1, and I think they're both are going to protect their women, uh, realizing Rachel's a better game player, so Brandon will go out before Rachel. Uh, the next one is now three people left, Shelly, Rachel, and Jordan. Who do I got and why? I think it's going to be a women alliance down to the final three. 
Uh, Shelly playing a great game, not upsetting anybody, unless, of course, Dominic stays in the game. Dominique wants her out. However, Shelly at 5-1. to one. The reason is I don't think when it comes down to it, she'll be able to win that competition that she needs to win. Uh, she's going to still be honest. She won't be able to lie someone straight to the face. So, therefore, I put Shelly at 5-1. to one. Rachel or Jordan, here's the reason why. I would love, obviously, the winner to win, but I don't think the people who are going to be in the jury, even though there's going to be three jury members who are veterans, are going to give it to Rachel if Rachel's up against Jordan. I think Jordan will end up winning if it's up against Rachel. How, why, sadly, if Jordan just plays what she did like same year, she's going to end up at 3-1 to one odds. I think Rachel at 4-1 to one odds. I think the other jury members who are newbies won't give it to Rachel based on just her personality, and they'll love Jordan, and they'll picking this year based on who they like. I hope not. I hope it's based on Rachel, who's a better game player. People may not like her in America, but she is the better game player if it ends up being Rachel versus Jordan. However, as I said, it's going to be down to the three women, the Charlie Angels, as Keith called her, called them. But Keith no longer there. Uh, next thing is a backdoor. Who's going to be backdoor? I think Danny at 2-1, to one, Jeff at 3-1, to one, Brendan at 4-1, to one, Rachel at 8-1. to one. I think only the veterans will be backdoor. I think the newbies will be scared to put one up. So if they can backdoor, they'll definitely backdoor. And the last little prop I have is who's going to be the next one that CBS shows on a show saying this same line that I've heard so many times on Superpass and on the show is, trust me, I am being totally honest with you when I say this. Trust me, I am being totally honest when I say this. I've heard that line so many times. Like, if you don't say that line, they're not going to believe you. So who's going to be the next one on the live show? Not on the Super Pass, on a live show. On the, not on a live show, but on the BB show that they show during the week, Sunday, Wednesday, or Thursday. Danny at 3 to 1 always says the line. Shelly says the line. I always tell the truth at 4 to 1. Luan at 8 to 1, who also says, I've never lied. I've been straightforward. And possibly Jordan, who's always told the truth at 10 to 1. Which one of those four people will be the one to say it? I hope you liked it. I was quick. Back to you, Evil Dick. You're the man. <laughs> Why, well, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Well, I give it uh, uh, two to one odds that uh, uh, Brentel actually bears his vagina on camera by accident um, during one of these things. Okay, we got word association with each one of the people left in the house. Let's go in order saying start with June, going to James, then to Janelle. Uh, then I'll finish up. Kalia. Kalua. James. Oh, for Kalia. Oh, shit, I don't want to be that mean. <laughs> Say it! E EMT. EMT? What the hell is that? Emergency medical to kill text, because she's going to die in the middle <laughs> of this game. A medic. <laughs> Janelle. I'm supposed to think of a name for her? No, just a one-word association. Food. <laughs> okay. There we go. Mine is, mine's Twinkies. Uh, Lawan, June. Orange Crocs. <laughs> <laughs> James? Styles the homeless. <laughs> <laughs> Janelle? Yells in the diary room? I don't know. Who does yell in the diary room? There's always one. Uh, the one for me is uh, thrift shop shopping. Uh, Adam, June? Ugh, bacon. <laughs> James? Oh, <well>, disgusting. <laughs> Janelle? Yeah, heavy metal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bacon! I'm surprised that Hormel or Bacon Bits hasn't picked up and started uh, <laughs> being a sponsor of the show. Uh, Portia! June! Used. James? Who? <laughs> Chanel? Goddess? Ooh, uh, Portia to me was uh, cool, uh, but she's not playing. I mean, she's like hidden away now. Uh, Shelly, June, uh, man, lady, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Janelle, still old cigarettes, too much tan. Uh, mine would have been very cool until all of this bullshit. Now it's just Maya. <laughs> Uh, Jeff! June! Dumbledore! <laughs> that was mine, damn it! <laughs> <laughs> James? Uh, I'm gonna say Dumbledore. I have to, I have to stick with that one. <laughs> Janelle! Uh, I don't know. Just Showman. America's Showman. 
And mine would be, Jordan, shut up! Uh, <laughs> I never saw that. <laughs> uh, Jordan! June! Oh, space cows. <laughs> Fuck James! I think she's in DD11. <laughs> Janelle? Cookie dough. And mine is... Huh? Uh, Rachel! Pimples. June? Pimples. <laughs> Nails Jane. on the chalkboard. Nails on the chalkboard. <laughs> Janelle? Uh, hey, wait, answer, yeah, there you go. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> it. Is that your answer? My <laughs> dog's barking. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> Is that your answer? You're coming up with one, too. Uh, I was just thinking of redhead, like fiery redhead. No, it's, um, dog, it's doggy. Mine would be <laughs> um, annoying bitch. Uh, next, Brendan, June. Crying. <laughs> James. Chimpanzee, he's always picking at his ear. <laughs> isn't that like, wasn't it Adam going into the fucking diary? I hate people that do that, fucking idiots. Uh, Janelle. Douchebag. <laughs> uh, mine is big, giant <laughs> pussy. And last but not least, my daughter, June. Years. You, have to, you have to be nice because I'm here. Uh, James. Uh, competitor. Yeah. Janelle. Uh, week five, HOH. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 Um, after this week, I'm going to just say, Marcellus. <laughs> from, uh, let's talk about Danny for a minute. Going from, you know, the, the phrase is going from worst to first. Danielle went from going from first to worst in a motherfucking bolt of lightning heartbeat. Oh, Brendan is out of the competition. I said that 20 minutes ago. Oh, you did? I'm sorry. I missed it. I was, I'm very distracted here. Uh, I don't know who else. Who has red pants? All I see is their ass. Um, apparently, Adam might have to wear an elf suit for a week. <laughs> what? <laughs> that will be humorous. He looks like an overgrown. He looks like an overgrown alcoholic elf that would have been in Bad Santa or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, okay, so going on to Danielle. I mean, yeah. has anybody fucked up their game so bad in such a short amount of time? Brian, um, that was in ten. Who? Brian, season ten. He fucked up his whole game in like twenty minutes. Yeah. So he. Uh, that's very good. true. Well, what about Dana in my season? She turned on our, our eight alliance to no one watched season four G. <laughs> 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 it's on YouTube, damn it! Everybody watch it. <laughs> um, I, you know, I would have to like throw Howie in there too when he let Maggie run his H O H. That was horrible. That that oh. killed the whole season, and not just his game, everybody's game in that. Everybody's oh. didn't you know I, I didn't, I just watched season six again when I was in Sequester this last time. I can't watch it because of that week. Hey, I, I know. <laughs> oh, you know who's calling me? Production's calling me right now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> put him on the show. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I should put him on speakerphone. <laughs> They'll never call me again. Um... Uh, anyhow, so yes, I am in very good state with production. Nobody's mad at me or anything. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, shut the fuck up. You're not supposed to be talking about it. You're under contract, motherfucker. They're like, it's Don question. How do we start the season? <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I got a few more questions really quick, and we're going to go to a video mailbag. Um, who gets the Lydia's Dumb Bitch Award of the Week? June! <laughs> Kalia. Janelle? Shelly. And James! I'm going to say Don, because he got used, abused, and sent home. Mm. I'm, I'm, you know, I, I don't want to I don't want to be really mean or anything, because she's my daughter, but i got to put Danny in there. It just was horrible gameplay. Um, she's still there. She's still she's, there. Well, she's still there. We'll see what happens. You know it can change, man. Uh, yeah, yeah, it can change in a heartbeat. If she wins HOH, it could change everything. Everybody yeah, kissing her ass. You know, she can get Adam on her side. She can make some things happen. Adam, yeah, right, right, hold, on, hold, on, hold on, Jeff is down. Jeff is out of the comp. Jeff is down. Hey. Um, I'm cheering for Danny to win. Jeff is down. Oh, Jeff is down? Jeff oh, is I, got, down. I got a... 
You got Pearl Jam on in the background. Ooh. Well, I'm trying to open my phone. I'm getting text message up the ass. You is in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> um, who's okay? Who's dumber in the house? That's that. Uh, who's dumber than Cowboy? That's in the house. Then who? Cowboy. Maybe oh, only the fish. <laughs> the fish, June. Lawan. Janelle. Lawan or Kalia. I'm sticking Jake. with the fish. I'm sticking with the fish. <laughs> I'm going with I'm going with Jordan. I don't care what y'all say. She's cute in the cowboy, but she's definitely dumb. Uh, she guessed David Hasselhoff. Oh, that's a, you know what that was? That was a motherfucking Rain Man moment. <laughs> you know? It's like she's an idiot savant and came up with that shit. Like without any kind of drugs, seriously. Uh, uh, so, a uh, wash, Baywash. Uh, Michael Hooligan, I, I, give me a break. Uh, who's a bigger douchebag than Scott Long? James. <laughs> Brendan. <laughs> Janelle. Brendan. Oh, June. Wow, it's, it's, is this going to be unanimous? It okay, is. Brand fucking Den. Yeah, Brendan is the biggest douchebag. Or Keith. Somebody's been on the Keith show was anymore. Dying. <laughs> Keith was so dumb. Oh, man. Yeah, uh, that was just oh. well, really bad, 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 bad. He was just made himself a target right from the get go. It was just ridiculous. He was the uh, worst player I've ever seen in my life. Waste. <laughs> oh, hold on! I got some text messages from Danielle from season three. Uh, Danielle better win this H O H. I'm pulling for. Her. I, I hope she sends Martini. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Got it, Lynn. I hope she sends Brandon's ass out the fucking door. I hate him and his ugly fiance. <laughs> oh, <laughs> another. Uh, by the way. Fiance. I am going to be sending Danielle from Season 3 and All-Stars a webcam, so she will be uh, doing this with us in the uh, coming oh my weeks. God, I Yay. love it. I love it. I love her. Uh, She's awesome. Um, okay, um, for everybody watching now, we're going to be going to video mailbag. In the meantime, I'm going to put some of my shit. Uh, check out rtbzone.com. I'm going to have a merch page up selling all kinds of crap on eBay. I'm going to be selling my little fucking... My little cow suit, um, and I'll sign that for you, whatever. My little mittens, and uh, the tail that I put in front of me like a dick, and they told me to turn around my, my costume before it started. And I have a slightly used banana from the first competition that my dog chewed up a bit. Oh, are you sure <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll be on eBay this next week, so uh, check out Evil Dick, E V E L D I C K on eBay. Um, and and I wanted to. Oh, go ahead. I'm going to have to bounce in a few minutes before you go to video mailbag, so okay. I'm going to say thanks for having me on board. Great seeing you and Janelle again, Hi, and obviously James. you too, Dick. Well, anyway, yeah, anytime you guys want me. Yeah, we will be doing this um, every Sunday, Wednesday, and Thursday after the episodes. You're welcome anytime, brother. I love your input, and I like how everybody has. Uh, different viewpoints and opinions and Janelle will be trying to be nice can be like a slightly mean. Uh, we're gonna have a new opening with <laughs> we're gonna have a new opening with all four of you guys with all four of us and some other people uh, that will be coming on the show, all their highlights of their big brother seasons. And the ending segment of course is gonna have to be Janelle saying bye bye bitches. <laughs> I've already put a request in that for that. So uh, um, so we'll say uh, a a fond farewell to James Ryan, and we will see you, uh, if you can make it, uh, what's the next episode? Uh, Sunday. Sunday. We'll Sunday. see you on Sunday. All right. Uh, later, guys. Thanks, brother. See you, James. Bye, James. Bye. Uh, one more thing I wanted to touch on before we go to video mailbag. We're kind of running a little long here. We did have a lot to talk about. Is uh, oh. Nikki and the Vegas Bash. Um, don't bother going. That bitch is a fucking <laughs> ugly ass whore that fucked all of these house guests left them stranded in Vegas. She says that her little uh, her little soiree she was going to be giving partial the po part of the portion to or the proceeds to charity, and she ended up pocketing all the money for the last two years, not just the last year. So How Nikki, fuck you, talking? suck my How dick. How much money Adam. is it? She took in a lot of money last year. Like what? Like thousands or hundreds? What are we talking? I, it's got to be in the thousands. She's claiming that she donated three thousand, but she doesn't come up with any receipts or anything. And <clears throat> um, then she tried to skate it off, saying, "Oh, only the heifers and hoffers, or whatever the fucking bar thing that she did, uh, yeah. portion of that was supposed to be going, and that was a lie because I brought up the flyer and all this other stuff." Um, so I'm discouraging everyone from going. Um, nobody in the house is going, and even Danielle, who she keeps touting, is going to be going and has gone. 
Danielle said that she's not going to be going. Jeff and Jordan said that they're not Boogie's going. Boogie's party, right? Boogie's party in L.A. Yes. At his restaurant or something? Is that the uh, lemon seed one or the place that used to be ketchup? Yeah, yeah. The one that's on the uh, famous food? Yeah. yeah. If you haven't checked it out, check out the VH1 famous food. I, I'm really kind of liking that show. I'm waiting for that Danielle Stop to get stabbed in the throat. I can't stand her. Oh, Stop, get stabbed. I can't stand her. And if you haven't checked it out, I'm, I'm pimping the VH1 shows. My friend's uh, <laughs> Sugar is on uh, Celebrity Rehab with my other friend, uh, Stephen Adler from Guns N' Roses. Um, they are making the show. Sugar's a doll. I love her to death. Uh, check out Celebrity Rehab. Okay, I let's go so to... friends on Celebrity Rehab. You know that, that I swear to God, <laughs> casting, casting was get, the casting for Celebrity Rehab was getting a hold of me. I even talked to Robin about this. I go, are they asking me? Or are they really asking about my friend? It's like, if you have any friends, they could really use the gift of rehab. I'm like, they really? no. Yeah, I'm like, are they asking me? I'm like, I, I know like three people every season on that show, but uh, are they asking me? Or are they really yeah. asking? No, Dizzy wasn't on it. Oh. I don't think so. Uh, but Leaf Garrett, I knew out there. But there's a whole bunch of people I know from that. Oh, Jesus Christ, I'm getting... Oh, Danielle again. Let's see what Danielle has to say. Uh, get ready for a video map bag that's coming up next. Um, you know if she wins, she can nominate Rachel and Jordan because she can beat them in POV. Then she can backdoor Jeff or Brendan. Well, that's exactly what I've been saying. I, yeah. I say put Rachel, my thing, I would say put Rachel up and put Jeff up. And if uh, Rachel comes down, Brendan goes up. If Jeff comes down, Jordan goes up. And one of them's going home. Yeah. Period. End of fucking story. Um, okay. Chance, yes. Can you uh, text Danielle and, and say June ask why the fuck you don't have a webcam? It's two thousand. <laughs> I'll call after that. She said she's old school. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna go on to Amazon.com and I'm gonna buy her a webcam. We're gonna ship it to her house. <laughs> um, let's go to video map. We don't have much time left, so let's get this rolling. Go. Waiting. Waiting. Oh, that's hey, the yes, wrong My picture. question is, I can't stand Rachel. Uh, I can't see the picture. Is she worse in person or is she better? I I'm seeing your file, fetus. Is she worse in person or hey, is she better? Jack, my question is, I can't stand Rachel. Look at those uh, eyes. Is she worse in person or is she better? I can't stand Rachel either, man! <laughs> Is she worse or better? Um, my nobody has been in a season with her. I was in for a week. Uh, you have to remember that when you're in the house, you're not privy to all of this crying and fake crying and bullshit that that uh, she's pulling with uh, Brendan. Um, I didn't find her too bad, but you know, um, she is very annoying, and I could see her like really grating on me. And to be honest with you, um, I knew from the get go that I was going to get into it with Jeff at some point, just because of uh, his ego and my ego. And I knew that there would be a time and I would just fucking lay into them. I was kind of waiting for it, to be honest with you. But I was, figured it would be a better plan. Um, so I can't stand Rachel either, god damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to the next video mailbag. Hey, Evil Dick. Uh, Mike from Baltimore here. I was curious, uh, if Danny does win HOH tonight, um, what would your strategy be for her? Should she... Nominate one full couple, uh, nominate a s strong person from each of the couples, or should she not put the vets up at all and try and get back with the vets? No way. Okay, I already said that my, my opinion on this, what should happen. Um, what about you, June? Go ahead. Who would you put up, and who would you uh, use as replacements? Brendan and Jeff, because I want to see Rachel and Jordan bicker, and I want the two couples to be torn apart, and I want there to be drama. Janelle? Drama. Yeah, if I was Danny and I won tonight, I would definitely be putting Jeff and or er, Jeff and Brendan up, and I would try and win the POV so I had control of everything, and then I would just laugh at Rachel for not winning it, and be like, "Yeah, your man's still on the block. Yeah, go cry in a bush." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that crying in a bush. I would have been throwing rocks at the bush. Oh, oh my God! Hello. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Un believable. It's unbelievable to me that there's people actually out there that really truly are like this in real life um, and how they get through life is just beyond my understanding uh, let's roll the next one hi my name is Cody um, 
a couple days ago, I was tweeting with June, the winner of Big Brother 4, and uh, I asked her who her favorite Big Brother contestant ever was, and she told me that was Danielle Reyes. So now I want to ask all of you guys the same question. So uh, out of all 13 seasons of Big Brother, you know, besides yourself, who is your ba- favorite <laughs> Big Brother contestant? Well, me, it's myself. <laughs> um, is he asking personally, or is he asking game-wise? I think game-wise, right? Yeah. Okay, who's your favorite? It's overall. For me, it's overall, so. Um, for me, I always liked you, Dick, but whatever, that's it. Like Boy, that was like a was really good. backhanded compliment, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, for me, it was you, but whatever. So much enthusiasm. <laughs> Thanks, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> um, Dick? For me, um, strategy-wise, um, Dr. Will, hands down. Uh, Competition-wise, um, Janelle, for sure. And mm-hmm. for uh, sneaky, bitchy, um, entertaining is, uh, I'd have to, and who's the cutest? I'm so cute, I'm so cute. That would be June. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to love me as much as I do. <coughs> okay. Who would say themselves? Yeah. Okay, uh, next. <laughs> Thank you. <coughs> Chase. I was wondering, do you think Danielle turned on the group too fast? Yeah, I know. We're watching. Oh, oh my God. Don't go to the room. Oh, no. Don't go to the room. How are you stopping? Hey, shut up over there. I'm trying to do something, God damn it! I'm doing a show. We're quiet. Shut up, Harold. <laughs> Jordan, shut the fuck up. <laughs> what was even the question? Uh, oh, did Danielle turn on an alliance too fast? Uh, I think yeah. there's no doubt about that whatsoever. I think that her pushing Dominic or pushing uh, Brendan and Rachel made it so obvious, and she made her alliance with Dominic so obvious that she made him the biggest target. Danielle this week has played like like an amateur. She's played horrible, and she, her gameplay has been terrible. I like hands down. There's nothing. Yeah. Danielle has done nothing good this week. I'm gonna answer that question in Korean. Let's do it. That's it. And uh, in Swedish, Janelle. Uh, I don't know any Swedish. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, she turned on her alliance way too soon. She should have let it. I mean, she had at least four more weeks to go. Yeah. Yeah, without a doubt. Okay, I'm updating everyone. Shelly, Portia, Big Fat Kalia, and Danielle are the only ones left in the competition. Kalia's left in the competition? Yeah, she looks like she's dying. Her mouth is open. There's drool coming out. Oh my God. A, she, she's like literally looking like she's dying. Oh Shelly looks pretty comfortable. Danielle has her hands in her pockets. Looks like she's just like, uh, just like swinging, a, swinging away. And uh, Portia looks pretty comfortable too. I, I say Kalia's the next one down. Um, uh, video mount bag, let's go. We got, uh, we'll take time for like one or two more. Hey, well, Dick. Uh, my name is Dominic. I'm a big fan of yours. Um, Dominic. I had a few questions, but I think you can answer them all at the same time. Uh, I was just wondering uh, if you and Danielle had known that um, Brent Scholl and Jeff and Jordan would be in the house as well before the game started. Um, and if you didn't know, what was your strategy going into season 13? Uh, like, you obviously knew you'd you have a big target on your back. So I'm just curious, like, what was your game approach this time? <coughs> And uh, if any of that changed once you realized that there were couples, if you didn't know beforehand. Um, yeah, if you can answer that, I'd really appreciate it. Um, I hope you and everything with your personal matters um, are hopefully better now. Um, I'll, I'll always have you guys in my thoughts. That's so sweet. Thank you, Dominic. Thank you, Dominic. I really do appreciate that. And, and everyone that has been so supportive on Twitter and Facebook and filling up my email and stop texting me and calling me. Um, I have a million calls and texts to return. Um, I, but I really do appreciate it. The concern has been like literally overwhelming and there's only been like a few people that have like really tried to pry and be nosy into exactly what the deal is. And it's really nobody's business but mine. And one of the worst people was actually Bunky. Uh, <laughs> I talked to him oh last God. night. <laughs> Come on, Dick. You can tell me. Come on, Dick. Come on, Dick. Uh, <laughs> but I love Bunky to death. Bunky will be with us on, uh, I think, Wednesday. I think it was Wednesday's show. Uh, but anyhow, um, 
what was the other questions he asked? He had some good questions. Uh, did I know that Rachel Byrne and Jeff and Jordan were going to be there? No. Did they then know that each other was going to be there? They shared a fucking hotel room and sequester. Um, uh, I was like by myself. <clears throat> they did tell me that Danny was going to be on this season, but I had no idea that there was going to be anyone else. Although I had a very good feeling. Uh, what was my strategy? Um, going into the house thinking that there was going to be a bunch of newbies and like me and Danielle. Um, I've seen it on Survivor a million times, and I figured that yeah. I could use that starstruck factor to kind of help me out in the beginning, um, which has worked for everyone except for Russell in the last season. Um, <laughs> what, what was the other question? There was, uh, did it oh, once I did go in there, did it change? Well, yeah, absolutely it changed. As soon as I saw Jeff and Jordan, Rachel and Brendan, uh, I'm on good terms with uh, all four of them. Uh, probably not after they watch this webcast, but uh, I don't really care. Uh <laughs> But, you know, beforehand, you know, it's like uh, on, on good terms with everyone. It's uh, once you're out of the house and they're on a different season, I don't give a fuck. Uh, when I met Rachel, uh, was actually after the Reality Expo, and we were at the Rainbow having dinner. And she's like, Dick, I'm a really big fan. And I look at her, and I was just like, I wish I could say the same. Uh, but, hey, everybody's different outside the house. And everybody looks at me like, what the fuck? Did you really just say that? And I, I hated her. And I'm like, sorry, I hate you during your season. Oh, I told man. Natalie from season nine the same thing. She's like, I heard you hate me. Oh, no, she said, I heard you didn't like me. I said, no, I hated you. <laughs> She's horrible. Honesty is the best policy. Hey, everybody knows where I stand. That's why people call me a liar the, and did stuff. Did you guys feel the porn she did? Natalie, Natalie from season nine? Yeah, Brian from BB10 sent it to me. It was really funny. Like for money or with her boyfriend? Um, with that amateur photographer. It's got like Christmas bows on her boobs and her virgin. <laughs> I thought she was like uh, the head of the Christ Alliance. <laughs> this is the one that was blowing Matt on day two, right? Well, Matt that's in jail now? Uh, like Brian sent it to like all the ex BB players. Like Boogie had it, Will had it, everyone was looking at it. And we're like, Natalie from season nine, you open up and it's this huge email and it's pictures of her. I thought she was going like, to say it was a huge vagina. Well, yeah, that. <laughs> so everybody go out and look for Natalie's porn. Yes, uh, do you have a link, Janelle, that you could give people? Um, I'll forward you the email that I got from Brian. Oh, a Rich, Rich actually just called me. <laughs> 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 I, I gotta get out. Yeah, I gotta get out of here. Like productions call me up the. Um, <laughs> I'm in trouble. Uh, one more video, mailbag. Go. Oh, go. It's dumb and dumber. Well, Dick. Uh, my question to you is: Do you think Danny's relationship with Dominic has affected her gameplay? And also, do you think it was a good idea for her to break her alliance with the veterans? Well, that seems to be the gist of the question. I'm going to let June answer that one, and I'll, we'll do one more for Janelle. Um, I don't think I don't think her relationship with Dominic affected her uh, gameplay very much. I mean, she did push for him a little hard, but I don't think it was Dominic. I think it was Danny. I, I'd say yes on that. On that. <laughs> <laughs> that that's my opinion. There's not a lot of dead air there. Do you know, I can only see half your face. Are you like hiding? No, I had, I had, I'm pregnant. I had Rhino. Rhino did a, did a whole show like this one time. No, I just I have the worst heartburn ever from this pregnancy. Aww. It's just difficult to sit here. I have to uh, drink something. <laughs> so if anybody didn't know, um, I was the one that kind of outed Janelle's pregnancy by accident before I went in the house. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and she didn't tell me not to tell anybody. I didn't know. I thought I thought it was out of the loop or something. <laughs> so I go into a chat and I was like. Um, hey, yeah, Janelle's pregnant, blah, 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 blah. Everybody's like, Janelle's pregnant, what, what, what? And then I get a text <laughs> message the next morning early going, um, Dick, did you mention I was pregnant in a chat last night? And I was like, ooh, I think I'm in trouble. Wait, how many months are you pregnant? I'm, like, I'm, f I'm almost five months. And I'm like, great, now I have to tell everyone. So I'm like, great, I'll just post my ultrasound picture. Can you just stand up and pull your shirt up so you can see your belly? I don't really have one. I mean, it's like... <laughs> I'm not going to show it on here. I'll, it's like, oh, my oh. God, your tits look good, though. 
Thanks for well, that, Dick. My, my <laughs> boobs <laughs> are enormous. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'm not really showing quite yet. Well, I, we're going to wrap this up, and uh, congratulations on your pregnancy, and uh, be, uh, be good, and like, make sure that you have a healthy baby, huh? You do I all will. of the prenatal pills and all that bullshit, oh, and we'll, uh, by the time that we're done, we can, you know, we want, like, pictures, profile pictures, we can compare, compare the before and after, from this from this point here to when we finish this recap <laughs> show in September. True. <laughs> <laughs> you know, she's, uh, you're due on the 27th, right, of December? Yeah. Yep. Uh, how bad would that suck? Like the middle of Christmas or Christmas Eve, your water breaks at dinner. It's like baby shot. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> would you name it? Down. Would you name him Jesus? No, Jesus. No. <laughs> I always say Jesus is my gardener. Okay, we're gonna wrap this up. Um, thanks you guys for coming. I really do appreciate it. You guys rock. I'm looking forward to seeing you again. Um, later this week and after the next episode, uh, June now has the live feeds um, and uh, we can get back to the endurance competition, which we have four remaining. Uh, Kalia looks like she's like, Jesus hung on a cross as I'm looking at her. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we still have Danny, Portia, and Kathy up. Or, uh, I keep calling Kathy. I've been calling, <laughs> I've been calling Shelly Kathy since the day I walked in that fucking house. She looks like a goddamn Kathy. <laughs> Uh, anyhow, um, thanks you guys, and we will see you next time. Thanks for having us, Dick. Bye. Anytime. Bye, Janelle. Bye.